guys and welcome to the Performance Kitchen. Now our next guest will be sure to make some saves in the kitchen today. Please welcome Gillian Football Club's Henry Newcomb. <laughs> Woo! Henry, welcome to the kitchen. Cheers, thanks for having me. Not a problem. Now, what are we cooking today? Um, so today we're doing something quite nice and basic that I'd eat after training. Uh, we're doing a chicken breast. We're going to butterfly that um, with some mozzarella and some sun-dried tomato paste. Uh, we're going to put it together with some sweet potato chips and asparagus. Brilliant. And what's the first step in this? So first step we've got to do, we've got to chop the potatoes up into yep. chips. Doesn't really, do you want to do a few? No problem. And then we're going to do the chicken. Yep, well, then we're going to butterfly the chicken, um, layer it the inside with mozzarella and fold it all over together with a bit of chorizo sausage on top for a bit more flavour. Sounds fantastic. Okay, yep. sweet potato fries? Yep, so really you just want them a bit thin. Yep. So, but it doesn't really matter, not too picky. It will taste the same, we'll come out different shapes and sizes. And are we going to parboil these to make them? Yeah, just soften them up a little bit. So we'll parboil them just before they go in the oven. Um, so this meal in particular, sweet potatoes and butterfly chicken, when yeah. would you eat this? Um, I'd eat this probably after, after training. Um, obviously it's quite quick and easy to make. So I'd make it um, after, especially if you've had a hard like double session. Um, it'd be good then. Like lots yeah. of protein from the chicken and sweet potato, loading up the carbs for especially for the next day. And it just refuels you. Yeah, yeah. So Henry, sweet potato is your go-to carb now? Um, it never used to be. Um, first time I really got introduced to it was um, at football uh, one lunch. Yeah, we had jerk chicken with rice and it was sweet potato mash. And after that, I think when you're starving after training, I think nothing tastes better than anything. Like even the squash just tastes like it should be a luxury, but. No, um, after that, I thought, yeah, I've got a good taste for this, so, yeah, I add it into most things now. Well, I love a good sweet potato fry, yeah. so, should we get these into boil? Yep. So got some pan water here, and get this on. Cool. Yep, so we put them in. Yeah, just chuck them in. So, how long do we part boil these for? Uh, just for 10 minutes, just to start softening them up. Or we make them crispy in the oven. Okay, just get these in as well. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Right, no, what's no. next? Right, so the chicken breast. Now we've got a butterfly the chicken breast. Mm -hmm. So if I grab this one. Grab that one. Yep. And I'll take this one. There we go. Henry, right. take me back to little Henry Newcomb then. How yeah. did you first get inspired or want to play football? Um, so when I, was, I first started playing when I was about five and um, my dad took me down to the local um, Sunday league team. So as soon as, um, as, soon as I was five really, um, he took me down there. Um, you had to be six to start but luckily because I was quite tall, um, when I was, I was a tall five-year-old they didn't really know. So I couldn't play games, so they let me still train with them. Yeah. And even then, like first uh, few sessions, I was outfield, like everyone was the striker and stuff like that. And the goalie, I think he had a shot and his, his wrist went or something, and everyone was looking round and it's sort of like, yeah, let's just throw the youngster in goal. And I don't, I can remember it still, because I'd just come out, I was making saves, I was like, oh, I could do a bit of this. And then started doing goalkeeping training locally. and. Luckily enough, the, the local goalkeeping coach um, is the youth goalkeeping coach at Gillingham. So after a year of training with him when I was seven or eight, um, I got, he took me up to Gillingham where I had a six week trial um, with them, played a few games. Unfortunately at first, they said um, they had too many players in the squad. Yeah. So at that age, they had two squads, odds and evens. And unfortunately they turned me away. They said, we can't actually take you physically because of the numbers. And luckily, I. I still remember it, that two weeks later we got a phone call saying this, uh, another kid, it wasn't for him and he's just opted out and he's quit. So I was in and I've been there ever since You've now. Thrown so, in at the deep end. Yeah, thrown and then in, straight in. However many years later, yeah, you're here and years making later. that sort of dream become a reality. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what is so, next? Now we've done that, we need to slice the mozzarella. Yeah, so, so let's just get this out change of the way. these chopping boards. Yeah. And we'll 
move these ones on so you're not using the same chopping board for the chicken. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, no. Be careful, Henry, because these knives aren't that sharp. <laughs> <laughs> you can that's have that right. one. Right, so literally all you want. Do you want to do the mozzarella? Yeah, is little slices. Yeah. You're just slicing through. Just like so. Good. The two chicken breasts be enough. And we're going to put the mozzarella in the butter fried chicken. Yep, so now back to the chicken breasts. Yep. So we bring them over. So we literally we split it into two sides. Yep. So and then we put the mozzarella just line this side with the mozzarella. Like so. Get that off into there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So just one half. Mm -hmm. Packet full of mozzarella. There we go. Okay. That should be enough. Yep, yep, so we've got the mozzarella on one half. Yep. Now we just need a teaspoon for the sun dried tomato yep. basil. I can do that for you. <laughs> so literally, you can be as messy as you should like. Do yeah, one. You can so it's just, this is just, just sun dried tomato. Yeah. And then just spread it across. Uh, I'll put the dollops on and then yep. that's in spread. Is yep. that about right? Yep, that's fine. That's okay, plenty. so this paste is just, is it like a pesto y paste? Uh, yeah, it's just, Sandra, it's, it's a healthy sugar, really. Right, let's just get it. Um, this is the paste, you can just get it from anywhere, really. It's quite cheap. It tastes good as well. Yeah. It goes well with the mozzarella. Adds that extra flavour. And do you ever, do you always use mozzarella or do you ever use different um, cheeses? You can. I, I prefer mozzarella with this one because it just feels a bit lighter. Yeah. If, if that makes sense. Okay, and the next step? The next step is the fun part where now we've got to fold it over. So we'll fold the tomato down. Yeah. On there. Tomato, it's like making. You just push that down it's like, like a that. Sandwich, isn't it? That's it, it doesn't have to be neat. There we go. Yours right, looks, like that. look pretty good actually. Yep, that's all good. Right. Just need to wash my hands before you do the yep. thing. So the next thing we're just thinly slicing the torizzo sausage just to, so we can layer it just on top. Should we go halves? Yeah. Let's halves go on halves. this. There we are. And should we say just adds that extra adds that flavour? Bit, bit of flavour. Infuses it through. Yep. It's quite nice. Right. So back to football, Henry. Yep. Yeah. So you're now you signed for Gillingham last season? Uh, no, I, I, I signed my first professional contract at the beginning of this season. Yeah. Um, the I left school when I was 16. Obviously. I played for Gillingham up from the age groups of under nines all the way through to 16s. Now I left school to do a, a two-year scholar, which is basically um, like a YTS sort of thing. So you're training every day full time. Um, you do one day a week college when the first team are. Yeah. Basically, you do everything for the first team. You do clean their boots, put all their equipment out, clean the change rooms, everything. So quite old school, but it's, it's like the best two years you have. And then after that, they make decisions on you to whether you get a pro. So was it a was. Diff was it a difficult decision for you leaving school at 16? Um, not really. Like all my mates, it's something that I because um, when you're in the year 11, you actually get a day release day. So every Thursday, if your school agreed, which luckily mine did, um, you'd actually go in and train with the scholars. So you knew you had a good taste of what it was to come. So it wasn't like a gamble, like moving. Stuff like that, and I didn't have to move away from home, so it was all all good. So I knew what I was getting into, and luckily all my mates at school were really supportive and stuff like that. So yeah, but it was the transition was very quick because where in year eleven you get that long summer. Um, I had my school prom, and all my mates were like, "Yeah, let's go out, let's go to the after party." But the next day pre-season started, yeah. <laughs> so I was straight in, straight in there. And, and all of a sudden it's a, it's a total lifestyle change, yeah, and all your friends are still it, out. It does take it does take yeah. a time to get used to, especially training full time. The demands on your body are so much different from training twice a week in the game. Now it's five times a week, game, gym sessions, everything, everything's now full on. So. And now, over the Christmas period, have you managed to have a break or was it constant? No, it's the busiest time, really. Like, they try and give us as many days off as, uh, off as they can, but it's when you've got games, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, and like, on the 2nd of January, you still have to train between them. God, so no rest yeah. for the wicket then? No, yeah. Okay, Dave, how's the treats are looking? Yeah, all good. Yep. Just line it, just a little line. Plenty of treats is always good, isn't it? Yeah. We can always put it on the side. You can be as creative as you want with this bit. Okay. 
before that, I need to just chuck it on. Look like buttons on the front, don't they? There we go. Yeah, lovely. It's very neat and tidy. I'm yeah, it's not so when it comes far, out. <laughs> I'm impressed so far, Henry. So these extra bits we don't need. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Right, so we'll check on the sweet potatoes if they're... Yeah, no, they're they nice don't seem family. to be going very quickly, to be honest. Turn that up a little bit. They're still mm, not really boiling that much, but talk me through the next steps. So the next step, um, we'll stick the chicken in, um, we'll put the potatoes on the tray, a bit of oil on top really crisping them up and it will go in between 20 and 25 minutes so right. it's really quick for a good good meal. Perfect and do we season this with yep, paprika as well? Yep we can season well? that now. Yep. yep. Just a tiny little? Just a little sprinkle. Just a little pinch like that? Yep. Okay. Perfect. There we go. I like paprika. Yeah. Bring that. Extra flavour. Uh, do you pop any salt on at all? Or yeah a, li a little bit of salt. Just to add a bit. Okay, how many say so sweet potatoes have been on now about 10 minutes? Yep, that's great. They should be. Just check these, see if they're a bit soft. Yep, they're about right. Okay. Perfect. So we'll take these off. Great, drain. Yeah, we're going to drain these. And turn this off. So you said you had, you trained over Christmas. Yep. Tell me you had Christmas Day off. Um, luckily, um, I did. They were quite, were quite fortunate. Um, basically, um, the first team had a game on Boxing Day, so everyone who was just in the squad um, had to go in and train. So the gaffer was quite nice to me and let me have it off. But other than that, we trained. Um, trained Christmas Eve, I had Christmas Day off, had a game Boxing Day, was in the next day after Boxing Day. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite full on so over Christmas, but they're norm relatively, the gym work won't happen, like people won't want to stay around. And so gym work gets, put to the side for a bit, but obviously it's, it's time for family and stuff, and if you've worked hard up to there, then yeah. a few days off the gym won't hurt you, so. Not at all, right, so sweet potatoes on Yep, yeah, some sweet potatoes, chuck them Just on chuck there. Them on. There, there we go. They look perfect, Henry, and then a little bit of oil. A little oil. bit of oil on top, Put which some, is it. Just use some macadamia oil that on. Just a light sprinkle. Just make it a little bit it's covered. Perfect. Yep. And I guess you could use other types of oils as well. Yep. Um, sometimes I use coconut oil. Like I said, when I'm having a little cheat up, I'll use coconut oil, just melt it down in the microwave and sprinkle it over. So, yeah, any type of oil just to make them crisp. Cool. Yep. That look good? Right, yep. And in the oven? Yep. For about how 20 to 25 minutes with the chicken as well. There we so go. we're buying both ones in. We'll put the potatoes on top. We'll have to put it in that way. Yeah. Potatoes put in. the potatoes on top because they take a bit longer to cook. And then the chicken underneath. And the chicken's in. Yep. And now we sit and wait. We wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that whilst the sweet potato and chicken's in the oven, yep. should we do the asparagus? Yep, let's get to work on this. If you have a few. Take a little bunch of Just chop the ends off. Yeah. Okay. Right. I guess with this you could use any other veg as well. Yeah. Why? I've done it with broccoli before. Love a bit of broccoli. Why particularly have you chosen asparagus today? <laughs> <laughs> Most probably today because it's the easiest one to cook. <laughs> yeah. So again, I'm cheating again. But yep. So once that's done, just stick this on there. Boiling Just water. leave it to boil. Cool. Three or four minutes and that'll be done. Right, are we about ready, do you think, Henry? Yep, let's get this out. Yeah, let's get this show on the road. Watch the smoke. There we go. Oh, it's sizzling away nicely. And it smells delicious. Always good. Nice and crispy. Lovely. I've got a spatula there. Yeah. Just, the, just that side of you. Yep. We keep these in for now. Yeah, we'll just keep them in, they'll get nice and crisp. Just and look. Fabulous. Right. Oh, on there. And the chorizo is really nice and crispy and brown off there. Just trying to make that glove. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Lovely. Sweet potato? Yep, let's get that out. Next up. Sizzling away. 
these out nice and crisp. And they always tend to caramelise a bit, don't they, as well? So yeah. Which is always important. Do you want me to do the best. scoop? Yeah. And you hold. Yeah. There we go. Teamwork. Oh, you've got both trays. That's all right. <laughs> there we go. So we'll try and get this in hard. Bit of oil there. Great. And I guess to have them even crispier, you could. Even in or pop them under the grill sometimes. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Drain this off. Again, let me do this for you. Brilliant. And these are ready to go. It's looking good. In this way, you can be as creative or as not creative as you want. How, how, would, you like, how would you like these I'm on the plate, Should we just, <laughs> just chuck them on? Should we just do them how you normally would? Yeah. About like that? Yeah, that's perfect. Just bang them all on top. Bang them on, a bit of greenery. There yep. we go. Brilliant oh, stuff. Look at that. A nice rainbow plate there. Yep. Health. Yeah, pleased with that? Yeah, it's Great. come out all right. Okay, cool. Well, Henry, it looks like a job well done. Yep. Should we have a taste? Let's hope it tastes like it. <laughs> okay. What's your, what are you going for first? I'm definitely going for the chicken first. A little bit, a little bit a little of bit everything. Of oh, the thing is, the mozzarella, just got to get a yeah, little bit of that. Down. Have you got some there? Yeah, I've got those. Yeah. And also a little sweet potato. Mm. Okay, let's go okay. for it. Pretty good. <laughs> Cheers. Give me five. Decent, I like it. The mozzarella mm. is coming out and the chorizo is cooked to perfection. Henry, I think good job done. Thanks for having me. No, no, thank you for coming. It's been great. So, yeah, thanks, Henry. And thank you, everybody, for watching the Performance Kitchen. Join us again for the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>